Hello, hello, hello everybody. So, I really would have liked to have done this live, but unfortunately, I can't save the live video. Like, I know there's the replay video, but I want to be able to save it and post it to YouTube. So, if there's a way to do that, y'all let me know, because as you know, <laughs> this is all new to me, and I'm so just learning. Fumbling my way through, making it the best I can. I love the, say the saying, fake it until you make it, and that is totally what I'm doing, because I'm going to make it. I know it, totally. So, nonetheless, as you can see, um, and many of you have probably seen, I had um, dental work done today. I'm getting my last crown, and it is so exciting because of the fact that it is the last. No fillings, no crowns, no whatever. It is done deal. This is the last one. Then my mouth is perfect. <laughs> it's starting to wear off, but um, yeah, so nonetheless later my actual crown you know it's still coming so nonetheless this is an exciting one for me video or whatever because today is day 30 of me being on dose so um, as many of you know by my post I'm just absolutely loving it um, I had watched people post on this stuff about it being life-changing and oh my gosh if you're on the wall 30 day money back guarantee. This stuff is so amazing. So what has changed for me? Cause like so much has changed. Um, I had started this journey just to get back on keto, um, which I have. So we have been a month keto, no cheats, which is major for me because I did it all last year and I had so many cheats and so many fumbles so um it's keeping me really strong i went on a long weekend to dallas and i can't say you know some of the stuff probably like you know the sauce on the wings but for the most part i stuck to keto i did not eat any sugar and i'm so proud of myself um i actually lost a half a pound in that four day um weekend so nonetheless i've lost 15 and a half pounds total um as I said, started this for the weight loss, and I have got so much more. Um, I'm sleeping better. I have more energy. I'm just even more optimistic than I was before. Um, less anxiety. You know, I went on this vacation, and it was going to see people that I had never really met in person. I didn't really know anybody that was going to be at the convention and I had such an amazing time and I did not have to take Xanax once. Um, and that includes driving in a city, which is not my cup of tea. So that was way cool. Um, and then also at the convention, I kind of had one of those aha moments, which was, um, as I said on the YouTube video, that I have suffered in the past from severe debilitating depression and since then I've always wished on the shooting stars <laughs> on you know the pennies everything for happiness and it kind of hit me that at the convention here I am at a happiness convention this is what I've been wait waiting and wishing for for the last 20 years so I finally found my purpose it took forever but I'm so so excited about it um, for those that are looking to make a little extra money or are, <laughs> this is kind of down because of my mouth. <laughs> Lisa Mosey, guys. So as Les Brown says, you got to be hungry, <laughs> right? So, you know, if you just want to make some side cash because it's it's been documented that 60% of Americans have a second job and let me tell you this is a lot better than any second job out there so if you're just looking to make five six hundred dollars a month totally for you piece of cake easy if you're hungry like I am and want to build an empire and quit my job because I'm doing that in a hurry get on board because this is like seriously going to be on um, you know it is just such an amazing company I've had such amazing results with the business that I just I'm so so blessed um, I'm blessed to know all you guys I'm so 
glad that I get to share this journey with you guys and I hope that um, I can add value to y'all's day. So nonetheless, um, I have things to do such as clean my room and put order into my life because I have been neglecting that for quite some time. That is a plus of not watching TV is you have time to do these things. So nonetheless, I'm continuing to visualize. I listened to my Les Brown today. Um, I actually woke up super duper early, like 3.30 in the morning and I'm laying in bed. I hadn't opened my eyes and I'm like, this is pointless. I've got things to do. <laughs> so I got up and I did some visualizing and pulled some photos for, um, my vision board. I did some pictures that I had taken with sayings and whatnot for the Pure Transcending Facebook page. And I, I heard something in the yard. I'm hearing things. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I just, I made myself, I, I, you know, when you've got a purpose and goals, it keeps you driving. And I feel like the happy coffee has just given me that, has lifted the veil that life has put over, you know, all of us saying you can't do this because guess what? Not only is it possible, it will happen and it can happen for you too. You are no different than I am. I have played the freaking let's watch TV, let's be medi mediocre, and I'm done playing small. So, nonetheless, with my half smile, let me give you my good smile side. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely, blessed day. I'm sending y'all hugs and love and all kinds of good stuff. So, y'all take care. I will check at you tomorrow. Um, it should be interesting. I'm going back to work. J-O-B, boo, boo, boo. So, we got to get rid of that in a hurry. So, jump on my team. But in say already, it's going to be transcending happiness Ooh, sounds good to me because I think we all need to be happy so nonetheless um, just giving you my testimony I hope y'all got some value out of it um, and take care love y'all bye